Oh, you threw up. You're supposed to look cute for this video. Not yuckies. Not yuckies. Hey guys, welcome back to Celeste's Corner. Hey guys, and welcome back to Celeste's Corner. So today we will be filming Alexis's two month update. I'm like mind blown that she's already two months old and you guys can probably see her right there she's laid down right there so before we get this video started make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and comment down below any video ideas let me know how cute she is just tell me something because i will reply i promise i always reply back to you guys anyways and another thing before we get started you guys can see baby alexis because obviously you guys want to see her say hi So if you guys don't know, this is baby Alexis. She is two months old today on June 20th. Today's June 20th. She was born on April 20th, 2018. And she's just so stinking adorable. She got her shots today, so she's a little like she's not angry, like she actually did really good. But yeah, we'll talk about that after. Um so yes, this is baby Alexis. Hi! Am I looking at the camera? Say hi. Oh, she just burped. Good girl. Okay, say hi one more time. Really close up. Really close up. Say hi, everybody. My name is Alexis. Welcome to Celeste's Corner. So, if you guys see the like, light on my face, it's like super sunny outside, so like, deal with it. I just pretty much wrote down things that I thought of during her from when she was born up till now and i also looked online at things that she's supposed to be doing at this age and things that like yeah there's things that she should be doing at this age and seeing if she was doing them which she is and there was also a lot of things that, she, that she's supposed to be doing at three months even four months and she's already doing now and that's what we're about to get into so the first thing i have is that she can hold her head up from two weeks old a lot of people didn't even like believe hector and i when we said that because she was only two weeks old and everyone's like yes people didn't believe me she's my thing so a lot of people didn't believe us and we're like yeah like she holds her head up and like even right now she's lifting up off, off like off of me you guys can't see it because like but if you saw from like this angle she's like leaning forward um so yeah from two weeks old she holds her head up when she was laying on her stomach on the bed when she's laying on her stomach like to my stomach when i was trying to get to skin with her and also from two weeks old and this is one thing that like people really 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 did not believe until they saw it for their own eyes was that she can roll over from her back to her side so like she literally she literally did that already from two weeks old and that's all i can say to you guys if you believe me you believe me don't then oh you keep burping <laughs> so her eyes were blue from the day that she was born and then they turned green for a little bit Hector and I saw it a lot of people didn't see it like even when we showed people like her eyes are green everyone's like no they're still blue but we saw them and obviously there's gonna be a photo right here that I'm gonna show you guys um yeah they were green for sure and then they just went back to blue and now they're still blue right baby yes and another thing that you guys can obviously see just from seeing her right now is that she has a lot of hair so right now you can't really see like the like how much it is because last night when she had a bath no this morning when she had a bath i brushed it down but like she has a lot of hair yes yes you do but yeah, she's had a lot of hair since she was born and she's blessed with beautiful hair. So the next thing I have is that she's also very, very, very observant. So she'll look around the room right now. Like you guys probably see that she's looking at the viewfinder. Yes. <laughs> so she's looking at the viewfinder. She loves watching Hector play games and she loves watching cartoons. Her favorite cartoon is Vampirina. 
and she has this toy teddy bear that used to be Hector's when he was little and she loves that. Um, she just laughs at it and smiles at it. It's the cutest thing ever. And this week was when she started using her play mat from tummy time and then there's also like things hanging from the top of it like all play mat and she ends up grabbing onto them and it's the cutest thing ever i didn't think she would grab onto them this early but she does because she's a smarty pants she's a smarty pants <laughs> another thing about her being observant is that she can turn her head a whole 180 degrees so if she's looking all the way left and I walk around her all the way to the right, she'll turn her head all the way around and she'll just follow me. Like she she knows my face, she knows everybody's face around her, she knows everybody's voices. She's just amazing, she's so smart. And the next point is that she tries to self-soothe from the day that she was born. So especially now, she ends up like if she's just a little bit fussy, she doesn't want her fast fire, she doesn't want to eat, there's nothing wrong, she ends up putting her hand to her mouth and she kind of like sucks on her hand just very slightly, like I wouldn't even say she's sucking on her thumb, she's, she's not doing anything like that, but she kind of just goes like this and then brings it away and like licks herself kind of, I guess you can say, but yeah, so she tries to self-soothe herself and um, sometimes she'll be a fussy and I'll just leave her in her playpen so that she can calm down and all of a sudden I hear her laughing so she can go from upset to happy all by herself so at six weeks old was when she started to smile and like laugh a little bit but that was like mainly when she really really started smiling And from then on, every morning especially, she's definitely a morning little girl, um, she smiles and she laughs and she's just so happy in the morning, she's just happy in general. And then she'll also like coo and react to when people are talking to her, so she'll be like, oh, hi, hi. and like, she the cutest noises. At her very first doctor's appointment, that's when we found out that she has colic. So if you guys don't know what colic is, it's pretty much, um, well, a lot of people say that it's like gas, but the real definition is that when a baby is fussy for no apparent reason, when there's nothing wrong, like even gas is really nothing wrong, but I guess some studies do show that it could be gas, but I guess gas is the best way to explain it, but it's really not gas. It's just fussy for no apparent reason, um, but I will put the exact definition right here if you guys can read it. Um, but yeah, so she has colic. From the day that she was born, we didn't really realize it. But now that I look back, you can definitely realize. Even like little clips that I took of her in the hospital, you can hear her kind of like grunting the way that she still does today. Um, so our doctor recommended oval. She took oval for a month and it wasn't making a difference at all. I changed her to organic gripe water because I didn't want to give her the like the actual water because that one has a lot of a very high alcohol content and that's pretty much why it works if you really think about it it works because it's alcohol you're pretty much drugging your baby so i got her the organic one where it's i think it's ginger and like something else and it smells like so bad and i think it tastes bad i didn't taste it but now that she's getting older and she, when she takes it like she she does not like it um, but she hasn't really taken it in the past few weeks. I really only give it to her once a day, if even that. Um, because her colic actually has, like, died down a lot. But it's still there, but she's a lot better. Like, it's crazy to think about how bad it was at the beginning, but now she's a lot better. Still there, but it's a lot better. So the next point that I have is that from birth, she's been an amazing sleeper and all the way until today, she's still an amazing sleeper. Um, when she was first born, like the first two weeks, she wanted to sleep pretty much through the full, like all night and she would only wake up once. And so I have to really force her to wake up. Yes, baby. I really have to force her to wake up um, to eat and stuff and she still wouldn't even eat. So then I decided to put her onto like a better routine to where she can eat 
and be changed and feel good right before bed and then she can definitely sleep through the night if she wanted to if she wakes up for another bottle then she can but right now um she wakes up maybe two to three times a night and doesn't even drink a whole bottle she just wants to be bliss <laughs> she just wants to be rocked back to sleep i do that and she was back to sleep so she's really good if you guys want to see my detailed nighttime routine i filmed that and it's the last video on my channel it will be linked down below so after changing her oval this is i'm just going back to her colic kind of but after changing her oval to gripe water and i realized it was starting to make a big difference but then i realized that she was being very very constipated and then at her next doctor's appointment when i told them that they said that maybe it could be the iron in her formula so to do half and half of the regular formula that has iron in it and then um the other bottle like you kind of switch so the first bottle will have the one with, with the iron in it and the other one with no iron and that wasn't really working i think i did that for three weeks and so then i decided to switch her to a lactose free formula and that has saved her for sure she still is a little bit constipated i would say but it's not that bad like she still has her regular poops once a day maybe even twice a day here and there um but she's amazing and it's really watery tmi but when i talked to the doctor about that today she said that it's nothing to worry about obviously because she's on a water-based diet so it's going to be watery when she starts eating solids it'll be a little bit thicker your head is just like peeking out and it looks like you want to be in the video more you want to be in the video do you want to be in the video? Video. And on that topic of formula, she now drinks at two months old, she drinks 120 milliliters every four hours. Here and there, maybe she'll drink like a 30 milliliters between those four hours. But she's pretty good with just drinking 120 four hours. And before I end this video, let's talk about what happened at her doctor's appointment today. So today was her two month um, checkup where she had her shots. Her shots were so sad, my baby. But she cried a little bit and then she stopped afterwards. So Poo, you're not pooing on dad, are you? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Hey, be strong. Now she's strong. <laughs> where you guys have to be strong. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Three, one, two, three. And so that's what happened and my baby girl is 10 pounds. Look at this 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Look at those legs. Chunky legs. And a chunky tummy. And a chunky face. And a chunky arm. She's a 10 pound baby. And um, her head circumference is perfect. I think she said it was like 32 centimeters. I guess they use centimeters. I don't know. Um, and her height. I'm not sure what her height was. Like they never told me. But she's perfect everybody at the doctor's office loves her because she's adorable so why not so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and more videos of this cutie patootie bye bye guys